Understanding the pH scale is a powerful way to save time and get better cleaning results. Keep watching to find out why. I'm Rupert from iTeam and in this video we'll be covering a quick overview of the pH scale as well as which chemicals work best on common stains. We'll also cover how to avoid damaging surfaces when using strong cleaning chemicals so you can be more confident when cleaning. Let's roll. Simply speaking, the pH scale shows how acidic or alkaline a chemical is. pH of 7 is neutral, anything below 7 is acidic and above 7 is alkaline. Here we've got a pH tester and we are testing pure water which is neutral at pH 7. Examples of common acids would be vinegar, lemon juice or hydrochloric acid and common alkalines would be bleach, spray and wipe and degreases. For each whole number you move away from the pH of 7, the acidity or alkalinity increases by a factor of 10. That means a chemical with a pH of 5 is 10 times more acidic than pH 6, while pH 1 is 100,000 times more acidic than pH 6. You can often find the pH of a chemical printed on the bottle. If it's not there, it'll definitely be on the product safety data sheet. So now you know the basics of pH scale, let's talk about how this relates to cleaning. While the pH of a chemical is not the only factor that will affect its cleaning ability, different soil types react differently to acidic or alkaline chemicals. This is because soiling or dirt, whatever you want to call it, has a definite pH. A general rule is that acidic soil buildup requires an alkaline chemical for best results. And yep, you guessed it, alkaline soil buildup will require an acidic chemical. This is why understanding pH is such an important part of cleaning. These basic principles can save a huge amount of time and hard work. So now we'll have a look at the best applications for acidic cleaners. Acid-based cleaners are great for tackling inorganic or mineral-based stains. Think of calcium deposits, hard water stains, dried urine and limescale buildups. All the types of soiling you find in the bathroom, shower areas or outdoors around a swimming pool. Acid is the best way to remove these mineral-based stains, as an acidic solution cuts through and liquefies the buildup so it can be washed away. So to clean the tiles and grout in the bathroom, use an acidic-based product like phosphoric acid-based tile cleaner. You must be careful with acids though, avoid spraying acidic cleaners, instead use a mop, sponge or squeeze bottle to apply the solution. The reason? Aerosolized acids can land on delicate surfaces and damage them or your eyes and respiratory system. So always wear a mask and eye protection and gloves. And of course, always make sure you follow all manufacturers' safety precautions. Also avoid using strong acids on natural stones like granite, limestone, sandstone and marble, and metals like copper, aluminium, bronze and brass. Strong acids will etch these surfaces, so take care. A good tip to remember, whenever you are cleaning using strong chemicals, start with mild dilution and test in a small area first. That's it for acids, so now, alkali time. On the upper side of the pH scale, alkaline chemicals are incredibly effective at tackling organic and oily stains. Think of the oily soil and general dirt buildup you'll find in areas like kitchens, lunchrooms, classrooms, industrial and retail environments. In fact, if it is not a bathroom, washroom or wet area where an acidic product works best, you would use an alkaline cleaner. This is because most organic soil tends to be acidic in nature, making an alkaline cleaner the best choice for fast, effective cleaning. How strong the chemical will need to be depends on the application. For example, for daily mopping in a kitchen area, you could use a mild alkaline detergent with a pH of around 8 to 9. Whereas for a once a year deep clean in the same area, you might want to use a stronger product such as heavy duty tile cleaner, which could have a pH of 11 or even higher. Now we've covered some basic principles of pH and acidic and alkaline cleaning chemicals, here's three simple ways to avoid damaging surfaces when you're cleaning. First, follow the dilution ratios recommended on the label. Adding more chemical doesn't necessarily mean a better clean. Excess chemical residues remain on the surface and actually attract more dirt, making the floor get dirty again faster. Secondly, don't leave strong chemicals on a surface for too long and don't let them dry out before you rinse them off. This could cause stains that are difficult to remove. And finally, follow any specific cleaning guys from the flooring manufacturer and always pre-test on a small area to be safe. So that's it for today. If this was helpful, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more helpful guides. Happy cleaning.